Hey guys, how's it going? Preparing here. So you've been playing the Mr. Panda Land, and you just hit level 90. Congratulations. And now you're thinking, what now? Well, in my uh, case, I'm trying to get ready for some raiding action. And to do that, I need to get some raiding gear. I need to have uh, the best possible gear for PvE DPS that I can have at this point in time. Well, this point in time, it doesn't matter as much as next week because the raids aren't really out yet. This is week one, and in this expansion, in the Panda Lands, Blizzard has decided that there's going to be no 25-man, no 10-man, none of the raiding action for, for the first week. They're going to give people you know, a decent amount of time to uh, gear up and have, uh, hopefully, uh, what's going to be a little bit more of a competitive uh, race on the uh, fairness stance. So... About a day prior to Pandaland being released, uh, I did some elementary research just, just to see what kind of gear uh, is out there uh, for me to get, for me to try to acquire and uh, compare the differences and see what I can come up with when it, you know, the time comes for me to actually gear up my character. So I made this uh, spreadsheet over here because, you know, Kriparian, he's just a master of the spreadsheets and uh, this one's no exception. Uh, pretty basic stuff. Uh, I made the link to an item the slot that it's in, the item level, the name, the source, and the zone, so the, the location that the item is from. And I compared many of these items, um, and this is just kind of a rough estimate. It's possible that I made very slight mistakes, but I mean, probably not. But the idea was uh, for me to get a scope of what I should be looking for. I'll link you guys a spreadsheet in the uh, description because I know some of you guys are curious, but I just want to um, you know, explain some of the stuff. So there's some world BOE epic drops in Pandalan. They're the exact same slots as they were in Cataclysm. For instance, uh, I remember in uh, Cataclysm there was like a Dory's, I think it was Dory's Embrace or something like that. It was a cape and it was an Agi cape. Pretty good. Look at that. Dory's pageantry. Same shit. Um, however, in some cases, the world BOE is not the best item, um, but in most it is. So if you can get a world BOE, good. But the reality is, uh, with the one year gap between Panda Land and the last content block, people have been saving their gold like crazy. You have to be prepared to spend a crap load of money for a world BOE from the auction house. Realistically speaking, uh, most of your gear is going to come from heroics. Now, how did you do heroics in Pandaland? Because as you've tried, if you're level 90, you try to care for heroic, it's gonna tell you your gear sucks, you can't get in here. You know, well, you can actually bypass that fact if you straight up run into a heroic, like physically, like burning crusade style. Like you go to where the heroic or the instance is, you hit that like five man heroic button, and then you walk through the portal. You know, it's it's a new concept for some of you, but hopefully you get the hang of it. If you do it that way, Yes, you do not gain the reward of the Valor points at the end of the instance for completing it, but you still get the same drops you would otherwise get. And that is the most important part, because if you want to queue for a random heroic, every single player in your group needs an average item level of 440. It doesn't have to be equipped, but there are some complications, and in some cases you may have to equip the gear. Um, so don't, don't go by what the window in the, uh, in the game tells you, because that may not be completely accurate. So if you do one or two heroics, and don't worry, heroics are easy as hell in this game. They're just total face roll in most cases. There's a few tricky things here and there, but with some practice, practice strategy, uh, should be no problem in any level of gear. Um, so yeah, you just walk into some heroics. Um, the items that you get don't necessarily have to be uh, the ones that your group needs. But as long as they have the adequate item level, you can then be promoted to the next level of heroics using the random feature in which you can queue a lot faster and you can gain a little bit more than just the items from the instance itself. So you gain the heroic items. Um, I think if you're like a hardcore heroic grinder, uh, about a day or two will do uh, to get most of the items you're looking for. But there are a few items out there that are a little bit harder to get. Um, you know, in my instance, there's uh, leatherworking you know, gloves of uh, Earthen Harmony. So that's like a hunter agility male glove. Uh, stuff like that takes um, what are called Moat of Harmonies. You upgrade those into like 
you know, 10 to 1 into like something else. I don't even know what it's called. And you need those to make stuff. It's kind of like the moats in the other expansions, but the difference is that there's no like, you know, five or six different moats. There's only one, it's the harmony stuff. And the significant difference is that these items are BOP and they're all world drops. And it takes a long time to farm these things. So Blizzard has set up the game to where you may have to go back and just farm random crappy mobs just to make some of these uh, patterns. And, you know, don't count on this shit being cheap on the auction house. If you're looking for the leatherworking or maybe some other kind of crafting, uh, you know, items that may be BOE but require the harmony ingredients, those things are going to go crazy expensive on the auction house first week. I wouldn't bet on getting that shit. Um, but besides that, and besides obviously like the Dark Moon Fair Trinket, um, there's only there's only one real other source, and that's doing the world bosses. When you do a world boss, there's two of them that I know of in the game. Uh, they're pretty easy to do if you have 40 people. Um, it's kind of like an LFR loot system. You get a bag, and uh, sometimes in the bag you get an actual item, and you can only get one of the bag or items uh, per week for each of the two world bosses killed. So some people get some really good items, some people get some really shit items. Uh, like gold, like 28 gold. Like the same 28 gold I got twice for the two world bosses I did this week, unfortunately. But in any case, um, if you fill those and you do the heroics, uh, the only other thing you can prepare for is the honor gear. So, yes, there is no honor gear, there's no conquest gear, there's none of that in the game this first week. Uh, I have seen a few things that I think Blizzard is trying to implement the gear next week and I think that's what they'll do but it has happened in uh, previous content block releases that Blizzard has delayed the PvP gear uh, several weeks after the instances have first been uh, you know implemented in the game so because of that I wouldn't bet on it but you know, it doesn't hurt to stock that shit up it doesn't hurt to pile up 4,000 honor pile up 4,000 um, uh, justice points and maybe queue up a few uh, completed uh, honor rewarding quests. Because the honor gear, and I'm talking about the honor gear, not the conquest gear, is actually uh, very, very powerful in certain slots. Uh, so you want to compare those items. You never want to skip out on uh, the PvP stuff. A lot of people, they look at like gear, they're like, no PvP gear, don't do that. This, guy, this guy's a noob. If he has all PvP gear, he sucks. You know, that's not, that's not the case. That's not the case. It's... The PvP gear is very strong, especially when um, acquiring gear is uh, very, very hard to do, where gear is very scarce, like in you know the first couple of weeks of an ex a new expansion. Now, getting all this gear is good and all. Uh, in the end, obviously, you'll get the raid gear, and you'll probably uh, replace every single one of these pieces. Uh, but it's it's kind of one of those things that I like to prepare for, and uh, I know. I know some of you like to try to get the best gear you can at any given point in time because that's, you know, a lot of people enjoy that aspect of uh, World of Warcraft. And uh, I really want to introduce you guys to my strategies. So hopefully um, you've at least gained some uh, points in organization and uh, maybe giving you guys some insight on how to acquire this gear. And uh, hopefully uh, you guys get some pretty good gear to smash up some uh, raid bosses next week. I'll see you guys then. Have a good one, guys.